Hi Richard, this is Colton with North Island Nissan and behind me I've got the 2011 Nissan Titan. Very sorry for the delay on this video. We had a really busy day yesterday there and I didn't finish till about 6 o'clock when it was dark again um, with the customers there. But here's the walk around video for you. If I do miss anything in this video that you do want to see, uh, just let me know and I'll snap a few pictures for you or I can take another video nice and quickly too. I'll go all the way around this one. I'll go over the interior as well. Uh, I think the black dots that you did see in the picture there, I think it was just the camera. Uh, it seems to be looking pretty good. I'll kind of go over everything here. And then it looked like it was kind of on the back of the headrest. Uh, so I will give you a shot from the back there as well. But I don't see any black dots like I did in, in the picture. I did see those as well though. Um, but it's in pretty darn good condition overall for 2011. It has 196,626 kilometers on it I believe. And yeah, I don't see any black dots like it showed on the camera there. It does come with a tri-fold hardtop tonneau cover and a locking tailgate as well so you can secure anything you need to in the bed. Uh, there was the tow hitch from the factory, it's got the wiring on there too. And then it does have the spray in bed liner and the utility track system. So you can see there's the rails along the side there, there's two along the bottom. There's one along the back that you probably, oh yeah, you can kind of see it underneath there. And so you can move those, one of those four tie downs into any one of those rails. It's a really versatile tie down system. They do still have the tie downs in each corner, um, but those work as a much more versatile system for sure, because you can get them anywhere you need, the, need yeah, anywhere you need them to be. Um, no backup cameras for 2011, but it does have the backup sensors in there. There's a little bit of a dent in, in one of them there. does have the running boards along the side which is always nice and then for features in this guy it does have power locks windows and mirrors there is a power driver seat as well uh, there is the there's a brake pedal adjust and then that's your backup sensors so if they are beeping and you want to turn them off that's the button that you'd use to turn them off uh, let me just start it up here So again, 196, 676 kilometers on it. Uh, there is cruise control on the steering wheel as well as some uh, volume controls on the left hand side there for the radio. There is an aftermarket deck so it does have that screen in there. They upgraded the uh, uh, audio unit with that. It does say nav but I never saw nav on here before. We'll take a look at that and see if that works. Uh, there is air conditioning of course and you have two tow mode and vehicle dynamic control down there hazard lights right there and then there's your gear shifter you can shift it into gear four three two or one and then you get a center console two armrests one for each seat here give you a quick shot of the roof and you do have a large power sliding glass mirror back there too So yeah, overall, it's a, a really nice truck. It's in pretty darn good condition. Um, again, if there is anything specific on this truck that you do want to see, just let me know. I'll be happy to throw another video together for you. But I hope you enjoyed this one. And I think I just got... Oh yeah, here we go. Uh, so it does have navigation. I guess that's probably why they upgraded the... Uh... Uh, radio there. So you do have navigation with it too. Um, so yeah, let me know if you have any questions and have a great rest of your day. Thank you very much.